Hello students, once again, we are just practicing some important vocabulary as we look at this new operation of exponents. So let's take a look at the directions. It says, which of the following is equivalent to, and you read this as 11 to the fourth power. Please don't read it as 11 four. So 11 to the fourth power power. Those little floating numbers are powers or exponents. So main thing here that I want you to understand is first of all, the word equivalent. Equivalent expressions is one of the things that I will frequently see on the GED. You know, that's one of the things that come up. They want you to understand when two mathematical expressions, two different ways of saying something are equal. You guys have a real tendency like, I have to get to the answer. <laughs> like I need to crunch numbers. I need to do the math. And often mathematicians are just more interested in things that are equal. Yeah. A lot of times an expression like this is equal to a single solitary number. Like we could do the math, crunch it out, figure out exactly what it's equal to. But that's not the only thing it might be equivalent to. So it's important to understand that this, this is an exponential expression. All I'm saying is it's a little math phrase that has an exponent in it, okay? So, oh, I should spell this out since it'd be exp, exp if I uh, abbreviated it. So exponential expression. There's another way to write it. You can write it as repeated multiplication. Another way of thinking of this is 11 multiplying by itself four times, multiplying. So the most common error students do is they choose this. 11 plus 11 plus 11 plus 11, not true. When you are talking about repeated addition, that's when we rewrite as multiplication. That's for 11, oh, I'm sorry, that's four times 11, or another way to think of it, 11 four times. But that's not what an exponent means. Exponent means, yeah, four 11s, but not adding. Four 11s multiplying. Or another way of thinking it, of it, the number 11 multiplying by itself four times. So 11 times 11 times 11 times 11. And so uh, two is a correct answer. But let's just go through and check the other ones because the other ones are common errors as well. 44. In fact, maybe 44 is the most common error I get because a lot of students just look at an exponent like this and their brain just flips to something they understand or remember and they make like this is 11 times four and then they'll tell me 44 and I always tease my students it makes me cry. Please don't make me cry. Please don't make me cry. <laughs> Please don't just multiply a number times its exponent. That's not what it means. And so don't you be the student who makes me cry. Ah, it's, it's for you, not for me. Let's make sure we get this right on our test. It's not 44. And then a lot of students think that because um, a lot of things are able to flip back and forth in math, we call that commutative. Uh, and you don't have to know that word. But we call that the, the idea that something is commutative. Like 2 times 3 is the same as 3 times 2, right? Gives us the same answer. So then they think, therefore, oh, then 11 to the fourth power must then be the same as four to the 11th power. And that's not true because one of these is a number, 11, and one of them is an operation, the fourth power. Um, it doesn't give us the same answer, right? This one is the same as 11 times 11 times 11 times 11. But this one, I don't even want to say it because I, I don't want to say four 11 times, but you know, it's four times four times four times four times four. Keep going until you have 11 fours multiplying. It's a different problem. And so, yeah, don't just flip it around and assume it means the same thing. The only thing equivalent here to 11 to the fourth power is this factored or expanded form, as we call it, the repeated multiplication. All right, if you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.